Hey everyone, it's Chris at Service Autopilot. Today I want to give you an example of how you can use our new functionality that we call Forms. Now, this is a functionality that we do require if you're a Service Autopilot member that you take a webinar in order for it to be turned on because while they're really powerful and you can do a lot of cool stuff with them, you can also do a lot of dangerous stuff with them as far as accidentally sending emails to clients. And so we want to make sure that you've got a good grasp on it before you really dive into it. But maybe you've taken that webinar already or maybe you're signed up for it or you're getting ready or you're interested to learn about forms. I want to show you some of the more practical ways that you can actually use them. And the example that I want to use today will kind of focus on the cleaning industry, the residential cleaning industry. And I want to show you how you can create like a home cleaning checklist. I get questions about this all the time. How can I have a task list that my teams or, or my cleaners just check off what they've done on a specific property um, for a visit? And I want to show you how you can get that set up. And then we'll also look at the mobile in terms of how the cleaners would actually interact with that form. So in this example, it would be very important that your cleaners or your teams had access to the Service Autopilot mobile app. So let's dive into the system here and we'll look at how we actually set the form up. I want to go under our CRM menu and where it says forms. Now again, just a reminder, you do have to take the forms webinar in order to have this turned on to be able to see it. But if you're a pro member, there's no additional fee for this. So don't worry about getting charged or anything like that. So we'll click forms. And you can see here that I've already got a form created called cleaning checklist. And this is the one that we're going to use for time's sake. But just to show you how it's done, I'll click add form here. And it pulls up this form builder. So there is a whole lot that you can do with this form builder. And you'll learn about all of that in the webinar. But what I want to specifically focus on what's important here is a couple of things. Number one, I want to focus on this button that says show on mobile. Because when I check this, I get some mobile options and I'd want to click this and it says associate to. So essentially what it's asking you here is when and where on the mobile do you want to see this form? What action is required to see the form? So my suggestion for something like this, a home cleaning checklist or a task list of some type, is to be when they clock out of a job. And it's the very last option in our drop down menu here. So I'll select clock out of job. What that means is as soon as the cleaner clocks out of their job, the form's going to immediately pop up for them to fill out. So like I said, we won't fill out this form in its entirety, but I want to show you a couple of key factors in order to get this form working the way you want. Another element here is to associate the form to a specific service type. So it's the last option here where it says associate to, and I'll drop this down services, and what it gives you is a list of the different service types inside of your system. So I'm basically just telling the system here what service do they clock out of that prompts this form to pop up. And so in my example, it's my weekly cleaning service, my one-time cleaning service, and my bi-weekly cleaning service. That's what I would want it to be associated to in my specific example. But you would know um, for your own company which services those would need to be. What we can see here is when I go to add field, it gives me a lot of different options of what I can put. You can have checklists, drop-down menus, uh, standard text fields, etc. Again, kind of sticking with the theme of the home cleaning checklist, I would most likely use checkboxes. So we'll click that and then I can click into the actual section itself and title it. So I could give this a, you know, header or I could say, you know, uh, mopping, something like that. And then where the field selections are, this is where I could start to add things like kitchen and they'll add another one for bedrooms, etc. And the cleaner would be able to check off, in this case, what they had mopped. So let me close this down and I'll pull up the one that I've already built for time's sake. So as you can see here, I've got multiple headers and then I've also got within those headers multiple options for the cleaner to check. 
And like I said before, I have show on mobile checked and I'll go to my mobile options and I have it associated to clocking out of the job. And then lastly, I have it associated to my weekly cleaning service. So let's see how the cleaner actually interacts with this on the mobile phone. So I'm gonna pull up my mobile here. Let's put it back into portrait view. Okay, so from here, I have a weekly cleaning service dispatched to my cleaner. This is just me logged in. I've got the job dispatched to myself. Nothing special here. You're probably familiar with this already. So the service is dispatched to me and I'll click into the job and then I'll just start my job like I normally would. And from here, all I have to do to prompt that form to pop up is click stop job. It asks if it's complete and I say yes it is. And there is my form. So from here, I can just check off what I've done. So I'll say we vacuum the master, we vacuum the living room, and the two bedrooms, but not the office. And then I'll say that we mopped the kitchen, the master bath, and the guest bath. And then we cleaned the windows in the whole house, and we did all of our normal tasks in the kitchen. And then I'll click save at the top, and it prompts me to view my invoice if that's what you do, if you have invoicing for the cleaners turned off, it would not prompt them to do that. So. Another element here to keep in mind, I'm gonna pull my main system back up, is this box here that says show and timeline. What this means is if you wanted to be able to access the results of this form from the client's timeline, this is what is important to be checked in order to do that. So let me close this down. I'll go to my dispatch board to find the job that was just completed. There it is for Rosalie. I'll click on it. it. Takes me into her profile page. And now from here, I see that a form was filled out. So I can click on the form and it pulls up the results of that checklist. So this is just one example of many things that you could do, many types of forms that you could have your technicians, your cleaners, your crew leaders filling out in the field. I hope that this has been really helpful for you. Like I said, I've gotten this question all the time. So hopefully this will give you a way that you can start eliminating more paper trails in terms of checklists and forms that they're filling out in the field and just roll it into Service Autopilot so that it's kept in the cloud for you. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to YouTube and check us out on Facebook and Twitter and check out our blog, which we're constantly updating with great information like this. Once again, my name's Chris. Thanks for watching.